So we are about to go get some updates as well as some interesting stuff I want to share with you on COVID-19. Well, COVID-19 is actually not good news, but it comes along with some good news, okay? And it's all about how people are trying to adjust and making difference, making changes, progressive ones for that matter. But something, you know, a couple of months back or one year back, they wouldn't have thought about doing. But here it is today. Young students are actually making a difference in that regard, and I am loving it so very much. But before I get to that part, let's uh, find out what the figures are looking like across the globe, and of course, that of Africa. Then we jump into the good, good goodies for today. Stay with us. COVID-19 Diaries. COVID-19 Diaries. COVID-19 Diaries. Today is February 8, 2021. The world has recorded 106,715,888 coronavirus cases, 78,550,782 people have recovered from the virus globally, 2,328,065 have died. My condolences. Commiserations going out to all bereaved families out there. Uh, let's continue to be safe and adhere to safety protocols, okay? That's, that's the ultimate goal, generally. Let's move on to COVID-19 in Africa. COVID-19 Africa. COVID-19 Africa. Daily update. Today is the 8th of February 2021 and Africa has recorded 3 million... 688,321 coronavirus cases, 3,205,417 people have recovered from the virus on the continent of Africa, and sadly, 95,203 people have passed on. Again, to all families who've lost their loved ones i want to say take hearts and our heart goes out to you and um let's continue to be safe i mean for those of us who are still alive healthy we still have an opportunity uh, to make things right of course we have a lot of people still living okay loved ones are still with us as of now so let's continue to adhere to the safety protocol it's, it's as a matter of fact you should be scared because it's not even a hundred percent guarantee that you would not get it that's just to 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 talk about the fact that it lessens, you know, your possibility of getting the virus. So you see how bad it is? Now, South Africa has 1,476,135 coronavirus cases, making South Africa the apex in terms of uh, the countries in Africa that actually have uh, the virus, confirmed cases, the top of the list, yeah? Now, 46,290 People have died in South Africa. Highest number of fatalities on the continent as well. Western Sahara with just 10 cases. And that's the least country, that's the least in terms of the countries in Africa who have actually recorded um, COVID-19. Now, talking about South Africa, now they've actually suspended COVID-19 vaccine rollout planned due to resistant variant. Yeah, now the South African government has decided to suspend the Oxford-AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine rollout plan after clinical trials show poor results. So that's it. I mean, every country in Africa or every country in the world, I, I believe, are actually on that path of testing it clinically before rolling it out to its citizens because you never know. It works here. It may not work here, especially with the developments of the new you know, variants and everything which is actually very, very more deadly and, of course, spreads even faster, okay? So let's be careful. But that's the, the issue in South Africa. Now, let's go all the way to Nigeria again in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja. So some students of uh, Gliston International Academy, now they've actually built a robot, okay? Uh, and they've called it Mirrorbot. Now, Mirrorbot actually plays the role of a doctor, okay, attending to COVID-19 patients. So you don't actually need contact. You don't, you don't need to meet as a, as a, you know, health practitioner or doctor or physician or, or what have you. You don't actually need to meet your, your, your patients to actually 
diagnose them and what what have you. So it's kind of like it's a, it's a shelf like looking um, robot, okay, with wheels, and it's being controlled by one of the uh, inventors, and uh, he actually uses a pad, the pad that we normally use to play a PS or Xbox, with, with actually a virtual reality headset. So he wears that and controls the movement, okay, directs it. So for, for instance, you, you stock it with uh, medicines in different compartments, okay, so you direct it to uh, the, 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 any patient, actually, COVID-19 patients and everything. So the, the head actually rotates. So it's kind of like it moves and then it, it knows where exactly where it's going or what room number it's supposed to go to. So it goes, it meets the patient whilst the physician is also communicating. It's not just taking the medicines or what have you. You get to communicate with your patients as well, okay? So you ask them about how they're feeling and it takes your temperature, so you kind of like lower your head a little bit. It takes it. It's just like the the temperature gun. Yeah. So you, you lower it. So whatever readings has been transmitted or sent to the one diagnosing you at that time, checking how you're doing, if there are any medication that you're supposed to take, it is right there. So you, it, it's it's labeled. So you know what, what you're supposed to pick, what you're supposed to take, and then it moves to the other, you know, patients as well. And I think it's so brilliant. I mean, I love it when I saw that stuff. I, I, I so love it. And Mirabot is more of like... Um, an acronym of the students, you know, who... These are not university students, Quran. I mean, these are... Uh, I, I, well, I, I would actually verify, but they're like very young students, right? Very, very young. And they've actually come up with this innovation. And they're saying it's not just something that needs to be used in Nigeria, which I totally agree. Every part of the world really needs this. Oh, there's this guy also in Egypt actually created something similar. And these are not issues that are peculiar or this is not an issue that's peculiar to africa or nigeria or abuja it's a worldwide palava uh, if you're nigerian man would say it's a palava that's the whole world is actually facing so it's problematic and solutions are being you know developed every single time to address it contact with the patient is very dangerous and hence they have come up with mirror bots they call it to actually play the role of the physician. So you'll see that only one place and you're, you know, diagnosing as an attendant to your patient. And that for me is really, really amazing. So kudos to all uh, the students actually, you know, uh, took part in this development. And their teacher as well. She was also uh, an instrumental uh, player in that regard. I mean, giving your students this kind of influence, influencing them in that regard and making them think very well. And there are a lot of people, a lot of students in Africa that can actually do the same thing. And uh, kudos, kudos. They need much support. So, yeah, and that's uh, our bits for COVID-19 on uh, today's COVID-19 updates. Log on to africaglobalradio.com for more updates of COVID-19 on a daily basis. <laughs> 